Hey, Sag. All right, you guys, it's gonna be for anyone that has Sagittarius in their sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements in their birth chart. Keep in mind, it's a general love reading and it will not resonate with every single Sagittarius that clicks on this video, okay? If you're new here, hey, my name is Bree, and if you're returning, that's what's up, keep doing that. All right, yeah, abundance. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. So some of you have manifested, for a lot of you, it looks like a new love. This looks like a new person in your life, okay? Um, or newer person, at least for the last three or five, like three to five months, you may have met this person, okay? You also have not enough, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear or ego issues, and jealousy, okay? So there may already be some problems with a new person already. Um, you also have kisses and consent, both came out together, I feel like it's, it's connected. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. You also have outdated thinking, conditioning, and replaying events over in your head. All right, so there may be some type of cycle that you that you feel you keep getting yourself into. This could be falling too fast, okay, or getting too attached to somebody too quickly. Could be anything like that, okay. In the past, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. I feel you feel, um, for a lot of you, this could just be symbolizing you leaving another situation alone, another in, another individual, okay? Uh, abandoning or feeling abandoned by somebody else, okay? And then this new person that comes along. Uh, some of you, you may feel detached, not detached. You may feel left out by this new person. You may feel emotionally distant from this new person. So this person may be a bit closed off. Tell me about the past a little further. This looks more so like kind of being out on your own, um, kind of being, I feel like you feel, I don't know if it's like you feel forgotten about, I don't know. Knight of Wands. I feel there's somebody um, from your past of that you were trying, that you are getting rid of, that you're getting away from, someone that was inconsistent. There may have been an energy of you putting a stop to something, um, a stop to somebody's in and out nature, okay? Uh, I feel like it's gotten bored, boring to you. You may feel like you wasted your time with this individual, okay? This could be a water sign. I'm seeing Sagittarius, I'll see Earth, okay? Um, and Pisces specifically, all right? But I feel like that's, it was getting boring to you. It was getting old, you're walking, you're walking away, you're leaving something behind, you're leaving it in, in the past, okay? Current energy is the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Wands. They're, so this, this new person you're dealing with most likely is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. But they're very, I don't know if you're fighting them off or if they're coming if they're coming off like that. I feel this person is very much guarded um, and keeping you at a certain distance. Okay, they're kind of on defense with you already. So why is that? Tell me about the seven of wands and the queen of swords. This person is not really the type to open up or get too close to people, not trying to be too emotional. You know, y'all can, you know, have good times together and you know laugh or whatever the case may be but they're not really trying yeah seven of pentacles they're not really trying to i don't know if this person is really trying to have anything serious with you i'm not i'm not gonna lie i don't think this is a bad person i just think they're not ready okay they're still healing from something else okay with this four of swords or you are still healing from something else so the timing is really not good for the two of you okay but a lot of you manifested this new person in okay Problem is, you may have met, I don't know if you manifested a karmic or a soulmate. This is more so karmic, okay? Um, because it doesn't look like this is the healthiest thing. It looks like you two can, you know, have fun together. Because the Queen of Swords has an amazing uh, uh, humor, okay? Uh, this person is very intelligent, but also very guarded, okay? And I feel they're keeping you at, at a certain distance. Keep doing it at arm's length. I don't think this person wants you getting too close, or you don't want them getting too close. For a lot of you, this is a mutual energy, okay? How you feel about them is funny because exactly what I just said. You have the Empress and the High Priestess, okay? You may, you you find them to be extremely intuitive. Some of you spiritual, okay? Um, you may see them as a bit of a prophet for some of you. You may feel like they're a, they got a bit of a psychic energy to them. Um, you feel this person is very attractive, okay? They keep themselves up, they look good, they uh, are very mature and just, uh, just mature and just, they're an adult, okay? Like, I just, there's this, you're just drawn to them, okay? You feel really, you feel very drawn to them. And clarifying the Empress, you have the Nine of Pentacles. So you feel this person's independent. Some of you, um, they're trying to become independent. For, I don't know, okay? They have their head on straight, is what I'm trying to say, okay? This person's extremely intelligent. You also have the Nine of Cups to symbolize the High Priestess, okay? 
to emphasize the high priestess. I feel nine, the number nine could be significant for you for some reason. Um, hmm. The number seven is coming up a lot too. Seven and nine are coming up a lot for some reason. Taurus, Libra, and Pisces energy. I feel, I don't know if you feel this person is, I don't, I don't, I think you see this person as somebody who doesn't want a relationship. This nine of pentacles and nine of cups always give me single energy. Okay, so you may not feel like this person wants a commitment, but you are very drawn to them. You, for a, little, for a good bit of you, you may feel this is your divine counterpart, your emperor or your empress. Okay, um, you may also feel they're a bit mysterious and a bit secretive. Okay, you may feel there's some mystery in, in them, which also may be attractive to you. All right, trying to get to know them, even though they don't open up, that may be what draws you to them too. All right. But this person makes you happy, okay? I feel you can depend on this person for certain, uh, for everything or certain things, or the case may be, okay, is what I'm getting for your energy. Their energy is a seven of wands again, okay? Uh, they're, they feel, I don't know if they feel you're pushing them away or they feel they have to push away. Um, I clarified and I got the sun, okay? You got the sun and the temperance. So you bring them a lot of peace, okay? There's something about you or what you're doing with them or for them or just being around them. You bring them a lot of happiness and a lot of peace. I'm going to see why that seven of wands is here. If you're doing all this for them and you're making them feel happy and you're making them feel good. Um, but there's this genuine level of peace that you're bringing them. And I don't know if they're not open to it or if they don't want it to get too serious. It's about the seven of wands. Why the seven of wands on a uh, Sag's person's side? What's on the wands? There's still, I don't, again, there, for some of you, there could be physical uh, distance between the two of you. If not, this person, yeah, queen, then they got the king of swords and the ace of swords and the strength. This person does not open up for, if they're not opening up to a relationship. They're just not open. Okay, and I feel like that's gonna start to frustrate you. You're gonna start to feel like, Seven of Pentacles as well. I see you starting to kind of be like, okay, do I want to keep investing into this? Like, this person is keeping me at distance or whatever the case may be, trying to keep me at arm's length. Should I keep investing? Should I just keep reflecting on things? Should I stay patient? Um, things like that. And I feel for a lot of you, they're doing this because they're still trying to get um, over something or someone else, okay? They're trying to move forward from another different, another part of their life, okay? Um, so right now they're closed off. There's not much you can do about it, okay? Um, your advice is the Eight of Wands with the world card here, okay? Uh, I think you're being told to make speedy action, okay? What exactly is, um, is that Eight of Wands? What should they do? And this is to bring some type of closure or a new beginning for the both of you, okay? Um, maybe to end out this, like, this cycle, okay? Because it feels like you feel this is going in a cycle where things are a bit repetitive maybe you talk to this person about how they're acting or um maybe they talk to you about you being distant um something about this is repetitive you may be wanting to uh see a new side of where this connection could head okay so remember about the eight of wands yeah moving forward there's a need for you to, to set your intentions and start to tell this person or act on the fact that you want progress um, and I feel, again, because of the world card here, there is maybe some type of cycle that seems to never end. There is a need for you to not want to do this and want to just move forward, okay? Whether that's into a relationship or into a marriage for some of you or whatever the case may be, okay? Um, there's also a need for, some of you is travel here. You got three traveling cards as advice, so maybe a trip is needed, okay? Maybe there's a need for you, to, you two to get away, okay? Uh, or someone needs to visit. Three travel cards. But there's a need for closure. There's a need for progress and communication. Okay? Got Cancer, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo here. Their near future actions towards you is a three of pentacles. I see them being cooperative, but I don't see them giving much. Okay? You have the Knight of Swords and the Three of Wands. I see them being cooperative. So I see them communicating. I see them trying to be optimistic, but they're not, they're still not giving much. Okay? So just be mindful. Okay, why is that? So remember about the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Three of Wands. They're being cooperative. They're kind of following your lead a little bit. Some of you, I feel like you're following theirs. I don't know. The, I don't know if the ball is in your court or theirs. 
It kind of feels like two magnets on the same side and y'all just keep, they're not connecting. It's like positive and positive and the negative and negative. It's like, there's no, like y'all can't get there. Why the Three of Pentacles? Why just the Three of Pentacles? Cause on their side it feels real platonic. I'm not even gonna lie. You have the sun here and the temperance and that's cute. But these, these pentacles and wands is not giving what I thought it was gonna give in this read. Five of Pentacles. I think they, okay, first, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. For a small portion of you, they missed somebody else. Or they, they missed something. Um, or, yeah. Clap five, five of Pentacles. I don't know. It feels like they, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Uh, it tried to come up in reverse, so there could have been a false start elsewhere because again, like I said, a lot of you, they're trying to move on from something else, but I feel they missed somebody that they still see potential in. I'm not going to lie to you. I think that they're going to go with the flow. They're going to communicate with you and do the things that you're wanting to do, but I still see them, I see them being optimistic, but I see them being patient and waiting on something with the Three of Wands as well, but I see them being optimistic. Um, if you're trying to look out into where things could go with you, but I think they missed something or somebody um, that they ha that they see potential in, that they see long-term potential in, okay? And it's burdening the fuck out of them with a ton of wands at the bottom, okay? They're doing too much, they're carrying too much, okay, is what I'm getting here from this read, okay? If it's not missing somebody or feeling abandoned by somebody that they see potential in, this could do with a money situation. They don't feel their money is right. They may not feel they have anything to provide you, okay? With the Five of Pentacles, there's poverty, there's homelessness, there's the money not being stable, not enough to be able to give to you or anything like that anyway. All right, so that's what I'm kind of seeing here. So either way, or both, doesn't really matter. All right, but that's what, just what I'm seeing right now, okay? Your outcome is the Six of Wands with the Eight of Swords. So I see you getting some type of small victory. Something goes your way. Something minor goes your way, but it's still not enough. All right, you also have the Three of Swords to clarify the Six of Wands. Why the Eight of Swords? Why the Eight of Swords? Because there's still secrets. Page, not Page, I'm sorry. High Priestess and the King of Pentacles. I don't know if it has something to do with a money thing that's being hidden or secretive. Um, or if there's a person that's a secret with the King of Pentacles. Could be somebody that has their own business. Could be some, a, a boss of, some, um, of someone's. Doesn't really matter. Five of Swords, Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Someone's still stuck on something. I thought this is you. Um, there's still some secrets here. You feel you still feel stuck about something. Something you're not speaking on. You're suffering in silence in the near future. But you do get some type of minor victory. What is that? Is that Six of Wands? You get some type of minor victory, some attention, whatever the case may be, but it's still not enough for you. So I see you kind of, I hate to say it, but I see a lot of you settling uh, for someone. Okay, you might, okay. For, with the Five of Wands clarifying the Six of Wands, in the near future, if you're, uh, again, with not enough having fear and ego issues and jealousy attached to it, there may be some jealousy on your part. Um, and in the near future, you might get a hint of feeling like you are above the competition if this person is dealing with somebody else or thinking about somebody else, whatever the case may be. There may be a small thing that happens in the near future where you feel you've won but you also still feel stuck in your head because you don't believe it either. I don't know. I don't know. Three of Swords, I feel it's somebody else in the picture. I feel you you're still feel stuck because there's some things you still don't know yet or there's some things you intuitively know. Some of you may be readers, okay? High Priestess keeps coming up. A lot of you may be readers. Some of you may be just borderline psychic or full-on psychic. But there's something that's keeping you stuck and it's something you know and it's keeping to yourself or something you don't know that this person's hiding, okay? So just keep that in mind in the near future because I see that in the near future. All right, additional messages. You have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So yeah, you do have feelings for this new person. You want something between, between the two of you, okay? Um, you also have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You also have, last but not least, the most important card in my opinion is pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So whatever you feel is going on is exactly what's going on. Especially with the high priestess coming up on both sides. You intuitively feel you know something about them that, not, that they're not open to telling you. Um, and I feel like you may start to see signs of that in the near future or currently. Okay. 
and I feel that there's this like sense of victory over competition or drama um, but then it's shattered again because you still know something or something like that okay that's what I'm kind of getting here and I feel like it starts to break your heart all over again I see I just see this like whirlwind cassette <laughs> like broken record type of thing going on between the two of you so just be careful about this person all right I don't think there's a bad person though all right but you do have pay attention to the red flags you already know what's going on just act accordingly okay you also have heart-to-heart -heart conversations at the bottom of the deck so y'all need to talk to this person all right and start asking questions <laughs> all right but actually guys that's all i got for you guys today hopefully you enjoy and if you did please make sure you like the comment share and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later